What's up, y'all? I'm in the middle of just setting up my week. I am just uh, condensing the rest of the week. I don't really like to use these gold ones because um, I can't really see them. And I'm sorry if the fan is too high, but I get so hot in the morning, it's not even funny. So last night, I could not sleep. My body is still trying to get back to normal. And it sucks because I kept waking up and, oh, I don't know. I just really was just a lot. So my family is still sleeping. Um, wait. What do I have? Oh, I did the food log. Okay, so this is the last week of me doing the food log this way. When I start, what's happening? Oh, when I start um, next week, I mean, not next week, oh my gosh, my next book, I will be in a different way layout for my book. So, last night I couldn't sleep either because I kept thinking of my July book. And I'm going to show you right now after I do this because this is very tedious. And I don't know about you, but I don't like watching this sometimes. The only time I enjoy it is when I can see it up close or someone's like just really chatty and talking about fun stuff. But anyhow, I just doesn't bring me joy to film it so <clears throat> I will go back and put my stickers down now one thing I don't even know if you guys can see I'm sure you can one thing my husband gave me these little notes yesterday is so I did okay so I did my morning prayers my devotion notes, my, I mean, not my morning prayers, my morning pages, my devotion notes, and my prayers. Then I did my self-care, which is like my journaling. And then here's my food log. And then where I was doing my self-care because I had to do my self-care and my devotions like this. And this layout was last week. And then my self-care like this. Well, I condensed it so that gave me one two three four five six pages so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to go back to homeschooling stuff because and I'm just gonna have notes for the time being and I'm only gonna go through Saturday and the reason why is because I need to start planning for this upcoming year we have been on a tremendous break um oh gosh i need to write it out so we went we've been on a tremendous break for homeschooling my daughter just kind of lost mojo if you're brand new to my channel um i homeschool my our youngest daughter only and she's six and she's also on the spectrum I hate to use the word, but she is high functioning. Um, a lot of the things that she goes through are anxiety and social challenges. Um, she also has like dyslexia and like there's all this other stuff. But um, so we, we homeschool her. And the beauty of that is, you know, I get to focus directly on her. So, I gotta start planning that out. So, let me see. Normally, I just do if I focus on a planner project. Um, if I post. So, this time around, I'm only gonna focus on tracking. Oh my gosh, did you see what I just did? I just like threw my pen across the, sh to the way. 
and I'm using my new Muji pen. I bought a bunch of them in Japan. So I bought brown, oh, you probably can't see very well, pink, green, blue, black, and then black. And I also bought the newer color mild liners. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna focus on if I'm sad, happy. Are you going potty? Anxious and stressed. I can go through all those different emotions for the day. So I want to know how many I'm going through. Right here is cleaning. Items I need to clean. And these are mail ideas. And then I usually do my planner projects right there. Like if I do a planner project, like what did I do? Hey! Oh, she's going to the restroom. So... Whoever said having a puppy was wonderful, they lied. Okay, so let's, I've got this really pretty washi I got in Japan. It's really like gold foil. I got it at one of the shrines and um, it's actually really, really pretty. Where is my ruler? Sorry guys, hold on just a sec. Girl. It's not fun. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I couldn't sleep either because I know she has to like eat. So she's in her crate and I know she has to eat and I feel bad so I'm like, she normally eats at like 7.30, so I'm like, get up and feed the doggy. And so she's a small puppy, and she's having problems going to the restroom. And she's not drinking a lot of water, so I have to like syringe it into her mouth. And then the vet said to put water in her food, because she's on wet food. And because she's not drinking a lot of water, she's constipated, so... He said add a, or she said add a little bit of pumpkin puree or coconut oil. We chose pumpkin puree so it can taste, you know, a little good. So we started that yesterday. So I'm like, this is like having a freaking newborn. <clears throat> um, okay, so I will still put the weather, not now. So that's kind of like how I, uh, next week will look. And then I need to put my tracker in. So my tracker looks like this. So I need to put that in and then that'll conclude the last week in this book. So I set up this book a little bit. I put July. I put this today and every day you are loved. So this is one of the pictures that I took in Japan. We were at a mall and when you look up and all of these umbrellas are hanging. I want to say we were in either Hakone or Kyoto. I think it was Kyoto, but either way, I used that as a picture. And then I used the Golden Pavilion. This is actually my picture and it's so pretty. Start the day by handing everything over to God that's a vellum. So my memory page is gonna be a little tricky because this is a smaller size. So let's see if I could even get all of it in. Now again, this is Marcia Bromucci's insert and she gave me graciously the file for all the months of the year a couple years ago yeah and um i use it religiously let me trim a little bit for my memory page and my memory page will look like this 
So what I do is just, I just try to write down like anything that sticks out, anything that is like good, bad, ugly for that day. And it's nice to reflect on, um, yeah, throughout the month. So if you remember, I said I was going to get rid of these glue sticks, but I have so many more and I'm like, whatever, you better just use them. So here's my July. I'm using this really cute little kitty thing. I guess I should put that right here. And what I normally do is I get tape. this right here so it holds down this one yeah okay so I've got the memory page and then I did goals and personal so this is kind of like home I did the little checklist I actually stole this vellum because it was so pretty from um, this month's book and I put down July so I could just cross it off and then I'll transfer goals and then I did, um, you know, just kind of tap out everything. I moved over all the little post-its from this month. I always just keep a bunch in the back. You never know for what. I've got this mom fuel right here. I'm probably gonna use it elsewhere. So I usually put down what month we're in. So yeah starting to come together I was I was thinking man Monique maybe you should use standard size but I haven't used standard size in so maybe about two or three months and I was looking at my dailies and I was like this is like the perfect size but when homeschool starts again and the year starts again it might very well go back to um This is just so cool. It's just, I spent, I gave them 10,000 yen, they gave me that back. I think I just bought like a bunch of drinks that day. I don't know, it's cool. But when the school year starts, that's probably when I'll go in August back to a standard size. Cause then that's when like my son starts um, a lot of activities homeschooling my daughter my husband just will be ending school so I'll end up taking this out this stuff out and I'll probably tip in something so I can have pictures with me um, I might find like a pocket insert and do that uh, yeah so this again is a six size but I cut it down when I was using my pocket plus um to fit in my media I mean my Gilio pocket plus excel so um I may very well again just de-ring that and use it who knows or I'll just kind of use it like this one next thing I gotta do is tab everything out um but I have like all next week to figure that out. So anyhow, I need to refill my little stickers. I keep this little thing right here by me. If you guys remember, I have this little box, which if I wanted to, I can close it. I like to just throw everything in it and it closes. And I just kind of keep it right here on my table I can't help but not use this area for planning because I've done that my entire time here so I just carry this little box I need to refill this with my little stickers but anyhow my friends I also have my large Sorry. Uh, 
moleskin. And I need to do a video on this, but I did keep up with it. I didn't, for the time I was in Japan, I kind of just put down where we went. And this is this week, but then this is next week. So I could just keep up. I've been keeping up with this. I actually really love this um, in comparison to the Hobonichi Weeks because it's just bigger. So I guess I don't need to do a video on this. I've got um, a few flip throughs, but it's kind of like where I could do my memory page. I've always wanted a planner where it is through the whole year. And so far this is, but this is a 2022. This is not the current year. And the reason why is because I like to give Sunday its own day and it's not like that it's like this so I white out everything and I just draw it in myself because it's just better that way for me and I just use a bunch of stickers and I just I love this <laughs> show you again um so this is one I didn't finish but I'm just leaving it alone I'm not gonna do anything to it but yeah I just kind of notate what's going on plan for the week I need to do my nails um, but yeah I keep this in here I don't even put it in a cover or anything I might put a sticker right here I had a bunch but I put them inside it's like a mental health one that is my video. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe.